Joining me right now is the chairman of House Ways and Means, Missouri Congressman, chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee. Jason Smith is here. Mr. Chairman, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for being here. It's great to see you, Maria. Thanks for having me. Well, you you had the access to these text messages and you had to make them public. Why was it important for you to ensure that people understood what you saw? You know, it, it was extremely important. Uh, my first week as chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, I set up a whistleblower hotline so any IRS employee could contact us since the Ways and Means Committee has jurisdiction over the oversight of the IRS. And we've had several whistleblowers come forward. And whenever IRS whistleblowers come forward, they, in their conversations, can give some um, some confidential tax information uh, to us. And so that's protected under a statute called 6103 of 6103. And in order for us to make that public, we had to do a vote of the committee. And in fact, that's what we did, because the American people deserve to know what we have found out from these multiple whistleblowers. Yeah. And you had 14 hours of transcribed interviews uh, with with two IRS whistleblowers. And here's the text that we've been talking about this morning. I'm sitting here with my father and we would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Tell the director that I would like to resolve this now before it gets out of hand. And now means tonight. And Z, if I get a call or text from anyone involved in this other than you, uh, he goes on to continue. And he says, uh, you, Zhang, or the chairman, I will make certain that between the man sitting next to me and every person he knows and my ability to forever hold a grudge that you will regret not following my direction. I'm sitting here waiting for the call with my father. I mean, um, Mr. Chairman, this sounds like the mafia. Maria, it's terrible. Just think about this. In Biden's America, what did we witness last night? We saw a fancy state dinner at the White House, and you have the person who's accused of these criminal allegations and also the, the department that has slow walked these allegations, the leader of that department, seated and dining at the same table. All of this smells bad. The American people aren't happy about it. The problem is, is these whistleblowers, they brought to light that in, the, in Biden's federal government, all Americans aren't cheated, treated equally. If you're wealthy and politically connected to the Biden family, you're going to have special treatment. Yeah, I, I want to get back to the way they interfered in the investigation in a second. But I don't understand how the DOJ can prosecute not paying your taxes, but not investigate where the actual income of those taxes came from. So I want you to talk to us a little about what you've learned in terms of all the money that Hunter Biden and Joe Biden and his family has taken in. What have you been able to identify in terms of the money that they took in and what exactly were these Chinese billionaires and these these business people in China paying for? What policy decision did Joe Biden make in order to get that quote unquote commitment? Maria, what we've learned so far is that from the tax years of 2014 to 2019, more than $17 million came to Hunter Biden and his associates. $8.2, $8.3 million directly went to Hunter Biden. And they came from countries such as China, Ukraine, Romania. Um, some of the items and gifts that he received was, for example, an $80,000 diamond, over $142,000 Porsche. It is absolutely unconscionable of the items they got. And what's even worse, Maria, is how the Justice Department, according to the whistleblowers, alleging how they stalled, how they denied, delayed, divulged the investigation that led to the fact of the statute of limitations expiring for any charges Hunter Biden could have in the tax years of 2014 and 2015, which by a conservative estimate shows that he owes the this U.S. Not, government go more this. than $300,000. This is absolutely disgusting. We know that money laundering often takes place with with diamonds. He's been he was given a three and a half carat diamond. Uh, we don't know what the payment was for. That's what I'm trying to understand. What is the business? What was he being paid for? A diamond, a Porsche and all of those millions for what? 
Maria, I think that WhatsApp mass message says a lot because I think he was paid for not by his intelligence or his ability, but the fact he was seated next to the vice president and the current president of the United States. I believe that is what's created value. I don't know many people that make eight million dollars, especially whenever they, they 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 have a shady past. It's it just it's incredible to me that the mainstream media refuses to report this, Congressman. I mean, the whistleblower said that the IRS wanted to charge Hunter Biden with several more felonies. Attorney David Weiss wanted to bring charges against Hunter in March of 2022, but he was denied by the Department of Justice. Here's what Attorney General Merrick Garland said before the Senate Judiciary Committee in March. I want to know from you, did he perjure himself? Watch this. Uh, the, the U.S. attorney in Delaware has been uh, advised that he has full authority to bring cases in other jurisdictions. He is not to be denied uh, anything that he needs. I have pledged not to interfere uh, with that investigation, and I uh, have carried through on my pledge. The whistleblower is telling us the exact opposite. Did Merrick Garland commit perjury there? Maria, the whistleblowers, more than one, are um, telling us the exact opposite. In fact, they said that there was not independence in the Justice Department with the, the U.S. attorney in Delaware. That U.S. attorney in Delaware, according to the whistleblowers, tried to bring charges in the District of Columbia and was denied. Tried to bring charges in Central District of California, was denied. Requested a special counsel, was denied. So clearly, it's not an independent investigation, according to the Attorney General of the United States. Well, Congressman, look, I know that you are a serious individual and you want to be doing things related to the budget. You want to be looking at tax policy. You're the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committees, for God's sake. You want to be getting into ways and means and the country's economics. But you have been handed a blockbuster on a silver platter here. And if we see all of these things that are coming out on Joe Biden, the first question that we all go to is, why is he still in office if he is selling out America? Why isn't an impeachment trial at hand? So I want to get your take, Congressman, on that. Where are we on this? And is it that the lawmakers are afraid of of, uh, 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 of uh, Kamala Harris being in the seat. Is, is that one reason that you're stopping short of moving forward? Why send it over to another committee? Well, you know, we're what I've said all along, what we're going to do in the Ways and Means Committee is see where the facts lead us. That's why That's I right. needed to get these early facts on, set a strong case, and, and see what the Judiciary Committee needs to do. The Judiciary Committee is a committee that starts where any kind of process looking at impeachment of any public official begins. And, and the only way that the Judiciary Committee could receive this information, since it had some private tax taxpayer information is if the Ways and Means Committee would vote it out. Mr. Jordan had no idea what was in this material yesterday before the vote. Now that he does, since we publicly released it, it's extremely important that Jamie Comer, Jim Jordan have information that we were, be able, we were able to deliver. Well, I mean, do you think we're going to be hearing from Merrick Garland? Doesn't he owe us some answers here about the IRS and the FBI getting in the way of an investigation? And what about all that money that Hunter Biden and his family have taken in? Are we just talking about him not paying taxes on it? Or are we actually going to the origins of why he accepted this money from foreign nationals? And did he sell out America? Maria, a lot of other names came up that we want answers. We want them to come to Congress and um, provide answers. But in regards to the attorney general of the United States, he deserves to give answers to the American people and to Congress because it's not all adding up. But you know what? Not just the attorney general of the United States, the president of the United States needs to respond to these these assertions, these allegations, because to me and to you and to your viewers, most of us believe that the president was ve very well aware of his son's business dealings. But he has continued to deny, deny, deny over a yeah. course of numerous years. Unbelievable. All right. We've got to run. But real quick, Congressman, what is the salary of a sitting senator? 
I mean, what, what was Joe Biden making all those years when he was a senator? Because I see multi-millions with several homes. Uh, you got to ask the question, how did he buy all of this wealth on the senator's salary? What is that salary? Under $200,000? Yeah, it's under $200,000. I think it's like $174,000. Okay. Of course, yeah. he was a senator before I was ever elected. Um, so it may have gone up a little bit more. So it's probably even less than 174000